everybody, Pat Huntoon here from Technique Junkies, and today I'm here to introduce you to a brand new addition to the Technique Junkies line, a brand new shimmering spray product called Shimmering Bliss. Shimmering Bliss is a collection of 25 shimmer sprays, some with color and some just with mica, to add some beautiful color and shimmer to all of your projects. There's so many new techniques I'm going to show you with this new product, and I can't wait to start. Follow along today, I'll introduce you to them. So let's take a look at the Shimmering Bliss and what you can do with them. First of all, I'd like to mention a couple of things about them. There are 20 colors of Shimmering Bliss and there are five colors of toppers. Here's a quick color chart so you can take a look at our colors and the toppers. The Shimmering Bliss are a water-based, non-toxic dye spray. Uh, with shimmer. They have different colors of mica depending on the custom colors that we've developed. The other things that we have are the toppers. Now there's five different toppers. These don't have a color in them. They're pure mica sprays. They're water-based with mica. So these are things that were meant to go on top of and over other things. What I'm going to do is show you a couple of things that we can do with these. Again, these are made in the USA and they are water-based with the shimmer. You always want to make sure that you're shaking them, okay? So you can see how the mica settles on the bottom of the bottles, which is fine. That happens with most products with micas. But when you use them, you shake them side to side. So I like to either do this side to side, circular, or you can be vigorous side to side. Never shake up and down. You never want to shake up and down like that because you never want to have anything with mica in it. Push the mica up into the spray nozzle at the top. So you want to shake it until you can't see the mica any longer on the bottom of the of the bottle. So that's mixing in there. This one has a lot of mica in it. It's so beautiful. So the easiest way to use these is to take your hand and go low. So if I spray this spray from six inches above, which many spray bottles will tell you to do, what you get is a fine layer of mist that you can barely see. This is a piece of watercolor paper. When I get down really close to my paper, I'm within an inch and I'm going to do nice long strokes of sprays. And these are these bottles are very easy to do. They don't come out in a circle naturally. And you see how much more beautiful, intense color I have there? And I'm going to use autumn leaf at the top and in the middle I think I'm going to put some wine stain in there. So you can either let these air dry or you can or you can um, use a heat tool with it. Now I like the colors to blend in a little bit there. I can create drips. I can leave them as they are. And I don't know if you, if you can see on the camera all of that beautiful, luscious color that's on that one. So I'm just going to set this aside right now to air dry it so you can see it dry. Let's talk about paper a little bit. Right here I'm using a watercolor paper. You can use a regular paper if you're not saturating your paper. The one I did before was a saturated piece of paper. So let me show you the difference. This is regular white 80 pound Genie Solar White cardstock. This side has watercolor paper and let me show you. This is Dolphin Cove and I'm just going to mix the micas in that. I'm going to spray, try to spray both of them very similar again, very low and close to the cardstock. If you go low to the cardstock, you also um, will get less overspray. You just want to have a fairly clear area. You can see along the edges I do have some spray on there. It's one advantage of working on the glass mat. It just wipes right off. So this color I'm using here, this is called Worn Saddle. And this is a beautiful brown with a touch of gold shimmer in it. It's quite beautiful. And then finally, I think we'll add some Luscious Lawn to the middle there. And we'll shake that up. This is the Luscious Lawn, the Shimmering Bliss. And you see I moved all the mica around. There's none on the bottom. And we're going to put that right in the middle. It's such a beautiful, intense color here. And I wasn't picky about these colors. I just pulled three out. All right, so this is the piece on regular paper. And as you can see, it's soaked in pretty well. But there is no movement there. It's not going anywhere. Once it's down on this paper, this regular piece of paper, it's almost soaked through, but not quite. But that's it. You're not getting any other movement now. That's beautiful and you can use this paper if you're just creating a background where you just want to spray the background and then you want to stamp into it and you're not going to do a whole lot of other effects over the top where the paper could pill, this is fine to use. But if you want to get some motion and some movement, 
and you want to have some drips and some beautiful loveliness like I have going on here. And when you use a heat tool, that'll dry right in like that. Let me heat it up and show you. It's heated enough to show you how you can capture all of those water marks in there and get the drip marks where this is a much more static one. It's absolutely stunning with the camera. So that's the difference between the paper. Okay, one of the great things about these sprays, the Shimmering Bliss sprays, is that you can either spray first and then stamp over the top or stamp first and then spray over the top, depending on the looks you're going for. And I'll show you that. We're going to be using SD696 Never Stop Making Wishes from the Technique Junkie stamp line. So I'm using Mindaro, which is this beautiful yellow color that has a, a touch of gold in there. And Vivid Volt, which is the chartreuse green, and it has a blue iridescent mica in it. And I sprayed it on here, a couple of the different colors here, those two colors, and you can see the blue and you can see the gold mica. It's absolutely stunning. Let me show you how we stamp into it. Because what this is a dye based, once it's dry and you're stamping into it, you can use any type of ink that you want once it's already dry. This is a very dry piece of paper that I'm working on. I really like to use the Versafine Claire inks. This is Nocturne. Um, I have a few of these in my store. They're kind of hard to come by right now, but this is a beautiful pigment ink. So I'll just ink that up and stamp that and show you on the stamp piece, and then we'll do it the other way around too. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Never stop making wishes. And it stamps perfectly on there without running or moving in any way. Let's do it the other way. So I'm gonna stamp using the Nocturne. I have the image here, and what I'm going to do is hit this with a heat tool real quick just to make sure that that pigment ink sets. And using the same two colors, the Vivid Volt, which I'm gonna shake a little bit, make sure it's shaken up perfectly, and move on all that mica off the bottom, that blue mica and give that a spray on there. Now again, you see how low I'm going to the cardstock? That's how you get all of that vivid color. Don't be afraid to get low. You can't, you can't mess it up. You don't want to sit like that because you get a circle. You just want to move your hand around a little bit. Very easy to use. Oh, look at how beautiful that is already. Just so shimmery. And I could hit that with a heat tool or let that air dry, but you can see that it the dye ink with the Versafine Claire is a beautiful mixture. You just see how beautiful that is. Okay, so either of those would be great on a piece of cardstock. tutorial today. I hope I've shown you a few things about the uh, the shimmering bliss and that you uh, will love it as much as I do. I'll be doing more tutorials over the course of the next few weeks so you can see them in action over and over again with different techniques. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.